Could you say that again? I... I forgot to bring the materials. When did I tell you to start preparing them? A week ago? I'm a junior in high school called Yuta Sawada, and I'm in the student council. On this particular day, I was in quite a sticky situation. You had all the time in the world to prepare them if I told you to do it a week ago, right? I have no excuses. You were going to use those materials in the student council meeting after school today. You should spend your recess getting them together. By the way, what did you do after school yesterday? Oh, I was playing games with the love of my life. Go away! As you wish. That's Kana Himuro, our school's fearsome student council president. Her good looks and excellent grades made her terrifying to other students. Tchah, you idiot! Did you say that to the student council president? I was playing games with the love of my life. Ha, I just added fuel to the fire. Nah, it was fine. I don't get it. I didn't know you had a girlfriend. The student council president was known as the Ice Queen. She was feared by everyone at school. You're back! K Kana! You're already here? It's late. I told you to come home as soon as the meeting was over. I'm sorry. I got caught up with another student council member for a bit. You're forgiven. Kana Himuro, the student council president, and I were actually engaged to be married. We're childhood friends and have been together since before I can remember. By nature, she's a spoiled brat. Not the kind of person you'd expect to be student council president. Oh, but I'm kind of mad at you. What? You said at school that you were playing games with the love of your life. If I'd have giggled, our secret could have been revealed. That was a little bit of revenge. Yesterday, I offered to prepare the materials for the student council meeting. Then you started being very sweet to me, so I didn't have time to prepare them. And today, you belittled me in front of everyone. It hurt me. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'll follow you to the end of the earth. Don't give up on me. That's a little heavy. Kana played the role of a ruthless student council president at school by hiding her emotions to maintain her strong reputation. The difference in her personality at school to her personality at home was huge. It was a bit bewildering at times, but I liked our situation. A few days later... Yuta-senpai, I've liked you for a long time. Please go out with me. What? I've been interested in you ever since I saw you in the student council room. I love how well you work with the student council president. What the heck? That girl? Sorry, are you sure you're talking about me? Yuta Sawada? Uh, a junior? Yeah, it's you! What? I've never been taken seriously by any girl other than Kana. I never thought another girl would confess their feelings to me. Hmm... She's petite, cute, and has big breasts. Um, Senpai, will you go out with me then? What's the matter with him? He looked so happy. That was awful to watch. The next day... That girl told Yuta she liked him. Maybe if he's cool with this, we'll happen more often now. But Yuta turned her down, right? That's for Yuta to decide. I don't want him to think of me as overbearing for being too aggressive with him. I'll just have to treat him like nothing ever happened. Sawada-kun! Oh, yeah, student council president! You were supposed to be on cleaning duty in the student council room today, weren't you? Sorry, I'll get to it as soon as I finish my lunch. No, go now. Uh, uh, huh? What did I just do? St student council president! Did you slip over? Are you okay? Uh, I think I slipped. Oh, I'm fine. What an accident! You scared me. After that incident, Kana's behavior became crazier and crazier. One day, as we were leaving school... Kana, you've looked a bit down recently. No one's around. Why don't we hold hands as we walk home? I'm sure it'll make you happy. 
No! But, huh? Sabatakun, what did you mean by that? In such a public place? Kana, what's wrong? Sorry! Now that it's just the two of us, it's okay for me to cuddle up to you, right? I love you, Yuta! Uh, oh! What's with her? I'm in shock! The next day after school, there was a meeting in the student council room to discuss the school's culture festival. I made my way there with Kana. Well, that concludes today's meeting. Today's meeting was pretty long. It's almost time for the culture festival. <sighs> Student council president, thanks for your hard work today. I'm so tired. But, huh? <laughs> Can you stroke my head like you always do? K Kana! What? what? <gasps> I was just practicing because I'm going to be the assistant to the actors of the drama club at the upcoming festival. Oh, you were just acting. I thought you'd gone crazy. <laughs> uh, I was very nervous. It's been a long time since we had dinner with you, Kana-chan. I'm happy to have you here because I don't have a daughter of my own. Aren't you a little far away, Kana? Don't call me that. I'm the student council president. It'd be torture to eat any closer to you. Yuta, what did you do to Kana-chan? I, I didn't do anything! Are you sure you didn't offend her without realizing it? I'd like to know why she's angry at me, too! Kana's feelings had become too strong to hide from the people around her. A few days later... Let's behave in a manner that won't embarrass our guests when they see us at this weekend's culture festival. That's it from me today. Everything's ready. Now, all we need is for the festival to go off without a hitch. Hey, Kana? Hmm. Hey, Kana, what you mad at me for? I'm not mad at you. You've been acting so strange lately, though. At home, you suddenly get very strict, and at school, you're unexpectedly sweet. You're emotionally unstable. I told you, I'm not mad at you. What? Why are you crying? I'm so anxious. Anxious? The festival will be great! You have all of the student council members ready to help you with anything. That's not it. Didn't a sophomore girl tell you that she liked you? Do you know about that? You're kind and cool, and I know you're popular. But you didn't tell me anything about that girl's confession. Just thinking about what would happen if you left me. I don't know why I'm crying. Sorry, I didn't know you were suffering because of that. But if you'd asked me, I'd have told you that I turned her down straight away. What? Sorry, I'm in love with someone else right now. I'm sorry, I had no idea. Do you like her that much? Yeah, if I wasn't still a student, I'd have already married her. I've become such a problematic girlfriend. I'm sorry. That's not true. I won't hide things from you ever again. I'm sorry I made you feel uneasy. I still love you, Kana. I love you too. Hmm? What's wrong, darling? Isn't that light red? Does that mean that we're on air right now? What? Our voices are being broadcasted live to the whole school right now? You should be happy, Yuta. That weekend... I never thought you'd be dating the student council president! Please, don't talk about it anymore. I'm gonna enjoy this story for another month! Please, don't. You must feel like everyone's watching you. Yeah, I do. It wasn't your fault. You didn't know your conversation was being broadcasted live to the whole school. If there was a really deep hole nearby, I'd jump right into it. Toru, where the heck are we going now? We're here! Kana-chan, your boyfriend is here! Kana? That outfit? Yuta, don't look at me. It's too embarrassing. Why? 
you look so cute! Now that Kana lost her powerful reputation and respectability at school, she was teased more often. They asked me to bring you here. Kana, you look great! I'm the student council president! Kana was a sweetheart at home, but ruthless at school where they even started calling her the Ice Queen. My lovely future wife. Then, when news of our relationship got out, she went from being the Ice Queen to the Queen of being teased.